Hey guys, it's me, Charlie. So this is a video too. I finally got the door to open. I just had it kind of off. So you just kind of squeeze it. Here's the large door. And my cat outside trying to come in. And there's Gussie. Hi, baby. So this is Gus. Oops, with a big bright light. On cage. So he's he actually likes his cage a lot. But as you can see, he has full flight, so he'll be on top of the cage, inside the cage, flying around the house, of course. And I have to be very careful because somebody came to my house one day and tried to steal him. And he was asking for some money. And when I went to go get it, my parrot flew on his shoulder. And then the guy ran out the house with my parrot. And then my parrot flew off. And from West Seattle, he flew all the way to First Avenue in Burien. So I was able to pick him up down there and it was nighttime. The next day it snowed. So that's how cold it was and my poor baby was flying. So he's got full flight so I had to be careful. So this is his cage. He hasn't pooped in it yet. <laughs> it's just recently got set up like 30 minutes ago. And so um, this is Gus and his new cage. Here we go, see. Well, now you don't want me to pick you up. You like your cage too much? All right. So, short video on Gus's new cage, his big door. He's going to need some perches and toys. So that's the next investment. He's got one perch in there, which is that stone that keeps his feet soft and his nails short and his beak trimmed. And then he just has this one little bell in here that he loves to play with. And a little pacifier that goes back and forth. So, anybody has any comments, any suggestions about favorite African gray toys? Um, go ahead and leave a comment and don't forget to rate this video if you like it. Um, don't forget also that if you subscribe, I have more videos coming and I try to do some weekly. Oh, he flew on his old cage. That's the cage he remembers all the time. All right. Thanks guys. See you guys on the next video. Bye.